It's been four long decades and more since the Voyager spacecraft departed from Earth and has traveled so deep into the cosmos for too long for one design to last only five years. Five. In 1977, the greatest adventure in space exploration commenced. We have ignition and we have lift. And as it threatens to outlive its builders, it has been an immensely useful companion in space research and more essentially, in the study of our very own solar system. Raising more questions as it answers others, most recently, the spacecraft is raising eyebrows as it seems to be sending eerie data back to Earth. So, how has the Voyager spacecraft lasted so long in space? And what is its newest and most terrifying data? Stay tuned as we explore the astounding images, messages, and discoveries of the Voyager. It is crucial to keep in mind that the Voyager is actually made up of two spacecrafts, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. The spacecrafts were both launched in the same year, Voyager 2 launching a few weeks before its twin. However, despite being launched before Voyager 1, the latter seems to be making more strides in space. Why so? Traveling at different speeds and trajectories, the two spacecrafts take distinct paths in their exploration of space. Voyager 1 encountered Jupiter about a couple of months before its twin spacecraft, and together they shed light on the largest planet in the solar system, giving more insight into its radiation belts, its satellites, and its never-before-seen planetary rings. So what new discoveries were made? Voyager 1 found two new Jovian moons named Thebe and Matisse, as well as a thin ring around the planet. On the other hand, Voyager 2 discovered a 14th moon orbiting the Jovian system. It also confirmed its twins' examination of active volcanism on one of the planet's moons, Lo. And together, both Voyagers watched the eruption of nine volcanoes on Lo. After taking about 19,000 pictures of the colossal planet and sending it back to Earth, Voyager 1 continued its exploration of the solar system and came in contact with the ringed planet. About a year after Voyager 1 made contact with Saturn, Voyager 2 finally made contact with the planet. During the flyby of the first spacecraft, five new moons and a new ring known as the G-Ring were found. When Voyager 2 finally made its way around the planet in 1981, the spacecraft provided so much information, and better still, provided more insight into the images Voyager 1 had captured in its flyby. For one, the second flyby of Saturn gave a closer look at the Saturnian moons, as well as closer imaging of the awesome rings showing the spokes and kinks present in the otherwise smooth-looking ring system. Impressively, Voyager made more stunning discoveries about Uranus. After sailing by Saturn in 1986, Voyager 2 moved deeper into the solar system and stumbled across the Bullseye Planet, one of the planets in its assigned mission. Its sail around the planet brought along a plethora of information that broadened our view and knowledge of the ice giant. The spacecraft discovered 10 new moons and two more rings, and it appears that the ice giant spins almost perfectly on its side with its spin axis tilted some 98 degrees. That is in stark contrast to other planets in the solar system. The data got a little complicated when it was discovered that the magnetic field axis of Uranus points 60 degrees away from its spin axis, making it difficult for scientists to accurately model. Surprisingly, three decades after the flyby, unbeknownst to the space team, the spacecraft had gone through a plasmoid, which can roughly be described as an enormous magnetic bubble into which the lying planet was ejecting its atmosphere. A big feat for Voyager 2, and even more impressive considering the fact that that important bit 
was missed for over 30 years. Voyager 2 didn't stop there, as it had one last planet to visit before diving into interstellar space. In 1989, the spacecraft encountered Neptune in its spatial exploration, and with its help, NASA discovered four rings and five moons and one more awesome discovery. When Voyager flew by the ice giant, a great dark spot could be seen. However, when the Hubble Space Telescope was used to image Neptune five years later, the spot was nowhere to be found. Well, if you think that was the coolest thing discovered, you couldn't be more wrong. During that sail, Voyager 2 gave us a closer look at how cold the farthest portions of our solar system could actually get. The ice giant's largest moon, Triton, actually holds the trophy as the coldest planet in the solar system. We're talking temperatures as low as negative 391 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 235 degrees Celsius. Antarctica is definitely pale in comparison. Diving deeper and further into the cosmos, by 2018, the twin spacecrafts both leapt into interstellar space fulfilling one of NASA's wishes to view our solar system from an external view. When NASA first launched the twin spacecraft in 1977, they were mainly let loose into space to take advantage of the alignment of Jupiter and Saturn. Their main mission was to fly near the two planets and shovel information back home. The spacecrafts were not even designed to last up to a decade in space, but the way we have it now, the spacecraft hasn't only been traveling through space for a decade, but more than four decades. And their exploration is no longer limited to the planets of our solar system, but have gone beyond that with both Voyagers passing the heliosphere in 2011 and 2018 respectively, and Voyager taking the very first image known as the family portrait of our solar system as viewed from the outside in 1990. They are not only diving deeper into the cosmos, but are also tasked with relaying messages and images from beyond our solar system back to Earth. The exit of the heliosphere was a big feat for the Voyager, but to understand just how great that was, let's take a look at the heliosphere. What exactly is it? The heliosphere is some sort of bubble that wraps around the sun and its planets. The interstellar medium combines with the constant emission of solar wind to form this sphere which protects our home planet and other components of the solar system. With the exit from the heliosphere, the Voyager became the first spacecraft to dive into interstellar space, several years after its launch at that. Earlier this year, Voyager started sending some mixed messages that had scientists at NASA scratching their heads in confusion. The confusing data seemed to be emerging from the so-called AACS, known as the Altitude Articulation and Control System, which was installed to keep note of the changes in the position of the spacecraft in space. This mystery message is suspected to be the result of a faulty command generated by another onboard computer, but the team is yet to ascertain the very one which triggered the funky message. Well, this problem isn't so bizarre considering the age of the spacecraft and how deep it has delved into space. Unfortunately, even if the exact computer is located, it would be difficult to repair because the craft is some 7.25 million miles away from Earth and that distance would be impossible to achieve by a rescue team. This wouldn't be the first time that a strange message would be received from the interstellar probes, and in this particular case, the result was more intriguing than a system fault. The signal was picked by the plasma wave system on board the Voyager, and what was initially assumed to be a slight hum was in fact loads of data that the scientists carefully examined. Upon examination, the scientists obtained an updated measurement of the mix of molecules, ionized gas, and atoms that inhabit the space found between our stars, and this was only possible almost 50 years after the launch of the spacecraft. Voyager doesn't seem to be stopping there, as they take longer strides into understanding 
the intricacy and diversity of planets surrounding our planet, as well as mediums far beyond our planet and its solar system. With thousands of images sent back to Earth to give us a clearer view of what lurks beyond our little home, Voyager gave us some of the best shots of the largest planets orbiting our solar system, giving a closer look at the gas giants as well as the ice giants. And it remains the only spacecraft to take a closer look at the furthest planets away from the sun. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were tasked with examining the planets Jupiter and Saturn, but they've done way beyond that. Living past their scheduled dates and exploring space deeper than NASA ever imagined, as the Voyager spacecraft sails further into interstellar space, they are breaking limits, setting history by placing a piece of Earth millions of miles away, and possibly are on their way to discovering alien life.